Here is another uh, example of why you and I are experiencing more generational friction. Take a look at this clip. And if like grandkids equals free tech support. Oh, 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 oh look at you. It's so great to see you. None of this works. Come on in. The poor granddaughter, did you see? she went in for a hug and didn't even get, get to hug her grandmother. She just got handed a bunch of technology. Now the reason we're all laughing at this clip is because there's a lot of truth here, isn't there? And everyone in this room, no matter your generation, we've been on one side or the other of this equation. But it's easy to laugh right past this, but there's a lot to unpack here, and there's a lot that's very um, indicative of today's time. So think about this, hang with me here. For the first time ever, right, think about this, for the first time ever, we have an emerging generation that's coming into the workforce that has skills and knowledge that previous generations don't have. That's the first time that's ever happened. You, and you see it here in this clip. Generation Z, millennials, they grew up as the chief technology officers of their home. They were helping mom and dad, grandma, grandpa troubleshoot a laptop, uh, what Facebook was, how to download an app, how to use TikTok, etc. And so they're taking that into the, into the workforce. They're bringing skills and knowledge that we've never seen before, and that's causing some tension inside the workforce, and that's why we've got to get our hands around better working and leading and uh, managing across generations. So